Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today, we're in Onstead, Michigan, and that is the home of Irish Hills. If you don't recall, Irish Hills used to be a popular tourist place. Still a few things left here that are wonderful, and one of them that has kind of come back a little bit over the years is Stagecoach Stop, and it was recently bought out uh, a few years back, and we're here at Stagecoach Stop tonight. Now the reason that we're here today is because they are having their Haunted Hills Hearse Music and Art Fest for 2023. And right out front is one of the hearses. I don't know if there's going to be any more showing up. I was kind of hoping for more, but this event is taking place on a Wednesday. So I get it. This one says Gravedigger. Did you die? And you can see the character in the back of it. And guys, check out all those creepy characters in the front window there. Also, looks like the old stagecoach stop sign is in need of some repair. And they do have this newer sign over here. It says Cowboy Creek Lodge and stagecoach stop over on the other side of the sign. You see it says Cowboy Creek Lodge and it's got information on their hotel. Perfect for family unions, retreats, weddings, and private events. All right, guys, so we have stepped into the stagecoach stop and uh, they did say that they're going to light it up a little bit later there's a, a trail we can go down uh, but I think I might take you guys down the trail while it's still light so you guys can see what this looks like in the daytime It'd be a little bit easier to see but uh, I do remember coming here as a kid it's really cool and uh, not a whole lot has changed it still has that uh, historic western town look very cool definitely cool this is the uh, entrance to their haunted trail. They also have a drive-through trail, they were telling me. Uh, so we may, we may actually come back and check that out if we have time, because even though it's cold, you can always drive through, right? And be warm in your car. So check this out, Miner's Hardware. This is awesome. All right, let's go check this out. Now, as I mentioned, she did say that the uh, the lights aren't on and maybe some of the animatronics that they have in here are also off. We'll see as we go. And just to point this out, there's a little playground over here. And I believe those are some of the rooms that you can possibly rent that we saw on the uh, Cowboy Lodge in the front. Got a couple of skeletons climbing out of this little shack here. Lots of bones over on that hill. Got a couple of skeletons up on the swing over there as well. And we have some shacks coming up. That's really cool. Check out this one. And this guy over here looks like he's the sheriff. a werewolf above us guys as I mentioned none of the animatronics are on right now but you get the idea oh no beware of dog oh there's a ton of wild animals and beasts back here check this out look at this guy here I bet he jumps out maybe not right now we've got another giant werewolf over there and check out the water tower. There's a skeleton on the water tower. 
and we've got this structure back here with a bunch of skeletons. And look, uh-oh, look out, we've got a giant werewolf coming towards us. He's creepy looking. I bet this is gonna be awesome when they put the lights on later. This will be really cool. Bunch of crazy looking creatures back there. I feel like zombies could jump out at us any second, guys. Oh, this is creepy. Check that out, Frankenstein in a coffin. Oh, he's creepy looking. Bunch of skulls all over the table. And over here we've got a mad scientist. Check out this pink shack here. Got some sort of vampire in that window. And look at that. Let's look at Zombie Bride. There's a couple of photo ops around here as well. And this whole area is open. This big open area. Check out this barn. Is there anything in there? I don't see anything in there. couple of scary things in the windows here. Got a vampire and check out that skeleton. What happened to this poor soul? He looks like he's in bad shape. All right, back in there. Got some uh, creepy character hanging out there. And over here, there's a dragon. sure what this is some creepy looking skull character of some sort oh and I totally missed this check that winged bat skeleton creature out that is really cool and uh, looks like he would be animated at night unfortunately he's not on yet some more over here and check this giant dragon out oh I think he just moved he did move well maybe he's not working right but he is uh, he's pretty cool what we have here looks like this is supposed to be some sort of toxic sludge or something heading down this way now check this out here skeleton over in this area here some kind of a crazy sawmill or something going on over there a couple of skeletons sitting on the bench here in front of this one and check out this person Guys, check this out. There's a bunch of skeletons having a poker game. And they're sitting around drinking. That's pretty cool too. There's a cemetery back behind this fence here. That looks really cool as well. We've got the skeleton here. Check this creepy lady out. She is pretty scary. And then we've got the skeleton here as well. 
check out this creepy looking wagon with all these bloody skeletons. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, guys, look, look at this. Look at this craziness going on over here. What is this? Impaled skeletons. Oh my gosh. That is really cool. There is a ton of them. And right across the road, there's a witch's convention going on. Oh my gosh, look at this. Got this one over here stirring the pot. Got this creepy one up here floating around. There's a bunch back there. There's one in the grill. Got this one here. There's another one here. And a bunch over there as well. What a bunch of creepy witches. Oh, and here we go. We are coming up on the graveyard that we saw through the fence there. The owner was kind enough to go turn on some lights for us. I know it's a little bit early and it's hard to kind of get the full effect with the lighting, but this should give you a pretty cool idea of what it's like. I think we need to come back here on the weekend. This is really, really cool. Check out this creepy Crypt Keeper guy. It says Foggy Falls Cemetery. What a creepy undertaker he is. They say this place is haunted. Oh, I've seen the spirits of the dead walk in and floating above the ground, but that's not my job. No, sir, I put the bodies under the ground. Lots of tombstones out here. And over on the other side, check out these little shacks. Not sure what's going on in there. It looks creepy with that blue light though. This guy looks really creepy. like a swampy area back over there and check out this creepy looking boat it's got skeletons on it that's crazy and over here it looks like a makeshift bridge kind of that we're gonna walk across Let's take a look at all these bleacher seats up here. I think that used to be part of a show they had here. And look at all the impaled skeletons all over the place up here. Tons of them. We've got a couple of bigger ones down there. Guys, take a look over here. That's just creepy like some sort of sacrifice was going on over here. And right next to it, on the main part of the stage, a big chair with these two like flaming things next to it. And on the other side, there is a coffin with a vampire in it.
couple more of the giant 12 foot skeletons coming up. And another creepy character over here. like this area might be set up for some scare actors to jump out at you. And over here we have a lighted tunnel. And some spiders. guys look at this one I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like this it's kind of uh, unique the way that it's all rippled and the light is shining on it and over here we have a what appears to be a headless child playing in a tire swing And some more creepy kids over here. And it looks like we found his head. This one looks like he got into some toxic sludge or something there. And this little a building or structure, I'm not sure what happened here. Here, some sort of crazy torture device. And on the other side, check this out, guys. A couple more buildings that are over here. And spiders, skeletons, and heads. Creepy. Oh my gosh. What a horrible, horrible car wreck this is. That person got cut in half. Oh, typical Michigan. Looks like we've got some road work coming up here. Wait a minute, what, 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 what is going on here? What happened to the construction worker? Oh my gosh. Look at that. There's the other, the other half of them must be over here. Wow. Look at that. What is going on there? Uh, I don't know about that. Lots of decapitated bodies. That's just creepy. Oh guys, check this out. These skeletons must have ate some of the toxic sludge. They're puking it up. Ugh. What's going on with this guy? He's digging his way out of the ground in this zombie apocalypse rescue team. I think, I, I don't think they made it. I think the zombies got to him. There's one on the hood. There's a skeleton driving. This guy got disemboweled. 
another skeleton up there. I got this guy down here. Oh my gosh. And then check, check this guy out right here. Got more of these uh, toxic looking zombies over here. tree right here. He's creepy looking. Looking back over this direction, it looks like there is a entire haunted attraction back this way as well. You're supposed to zigzag through here, but it does appear that way. We may have to check that out. This could be the exit for the other haunted trail. We'll find out in a minute because I think we're coming towards the end here. Here's a couple more skeletons in a Jeep. All right guys, so we've reached the end of that trail. Now, I don't know if that was just the cars area or the walking area or both. It was pretty cool, but I do notice we're heading back up towards the Western town area. So we're gonna see what that's like, see what's going on up here, if anything. And I do believe that there is that other haunted attraction that we just walked past a minute ago. We'll see if that's open as too. And I do know there's a haunted train that we can check out. So I'm kind of interested in that too. And guys, you gotta check this out. This is the other half of the Western town. How cool is this? This is the uh, jail with the Undertaker trading post. This says Mackinac Saloon. This is so so, so cool. Got some creepy characters in that little area right there as well. And this says Shays. You can barely make it out, but it says Shays Dance Hall. And I do see a bunch of tables and chairs inside. So I'm wondering if this is maybe where they have weddings from time to time. And there is a sign up here. Call to book our venue with some details. Can't quite read it, it's a little dark. Over here, the Rusty Spur watering hole. Let's take a peek inside, they have the lights on in here. And it uh, looks pretty, pretty cool. Got like a little covered wagon in there. Just heard there's a zombie sneaking up on us over there. Guys, check out that bar. The very Western look to it. Got the old antique style wallpaper in there and the wooden floors. Oh my gosh, this is so, so awesome. So awesome. This, this kind of stuff needs to be preserved. It really does. Look at this. This is just amazing. Oh my gosh absolutely love this. This says Haunting in the Hills, Haunted Hayride. Must be in this way. We'll check that out in a minute. I want to see the rest of this over here though. This is really cool. Print and poster shop. Some creepy stuff in there as well. Lots of creepy characters over here. Check that out. Wow. And that is just creepy as can be. That's awesome. Over 
here. Looks like it's a bank or something. It says deposits, loans. Yeah, might be some sort of bank. Aha, uh -huh. and here's the sign. I didn't see it. Tiffany Territory Bank. This is some kind of a bird looking creature over here. I just realized you guys can't see that. Look at this. Check that out. Skeletons in here drinking. And at the center of this whole area is this big giant spider. That's creepy looking, huh? All right, guys, so I told you a minute ago we'd go check this out. It says Haunting in the Hills Haunted Hayride. Let's take a walk through here and see what is in here. And this area looks like it's decorated for a Halloween party. And it's not quite... I don't think it's quite open. A bunch of skeletons in here. Check out that carriage, that's really cool too. And they have a dead body over here. That's pretty good looking. But uh, looks like this might be open later, I don't know. Lots of lights on. Can't really tell what's going on in here. Party, maybe for the weekend, I'm not sure. One other thing to point out to you guys is there is food available here. And I'm going to show you this is a abbreviated menu because it's the middle of the week, but just to give you an idea of some of the stuff that they do have here. So if you stop in on the weekend to visit some of the haunted attractions here, you can get some of this stuff. They also have like some chips and some various snacks and whatnot. And he's put one out here so we can take a look. You can see that chicken looks pretty good. Yeah, so definitely come out and check out the haunted attractions. I know we're going to come back because I was pretty impressed with that walkthrough. And I'd love to see it with all the scare actors in there. It would be awesome. <laughs> all right, guys, we got a bunch of creepy characters out here. Look at these guys. Check this guy out. That is just creepy. Oh, my gosh, he's sharpening his, his cleaver. He's coming for us, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, well, there are a few vendors here selling some different things, and somebody's over here with their artwork, selling some horror artwork and some things like that. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there's also some food available if you're hungry. All right, guys, so we're gonna head down to the very end, which is straight in front of me. There is a haunted train we're gonna check out. Let's go do that now. Guys, check this out. There is a haunted train here. Oh my gosh, it says Train Car of Terror. Wow. And it looks like we're gonna enter right here. Uh -oh. All right, we're heading back into the train. Check this out. That's creepy looking. There is a bunch of masks here. I hear chainsaws coming up, guys. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Here we go, we are getting into the train. Whoa, that got me. Whoa. Oh. Look out, it's Leatherface. Oh my gosh. Oh my. That is just creepy. 
<laughs> that ghost face over there. And here's Jason. Oh my gosh, look at this. I feel like I'm in a cabin on Crystal Lake. That's pretty cool. This is one creepy train. Oh, it got real narrow over here, guys. Oh my, check this out. Oh my gosh, look at that. And it's Pinhead, oh my gosh, that is awesome. Check them out over there, all the chains hanging from the ceiling, guys. That is super cool. Look at this, we have to go past the nun to get out of here. Oh my, or do we go through here? Oh, we're going through here. Oh wow, check it out guys, it's Jigsaw. <laughs> this is done up unbelievably well. Wow, that is just so cool. All the stuff and <laughs> Jigsaw down here. Check that out. Oh, that is just creepy. Oh my gosh, here's the nun. Creepy looking nun. And over here, it's like an exorcism going on from the exorcist. And then what do we got over here? Oh no. Look what I see, guys. I think Freddy's down here. <laughs> oh, that got me. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at the fog coming out of the furnace, guys. And the skin, oh my gosh, there's the hat. How awesome is that? That is incredible. Really cool. Super creepy. Wow. Wow, that was, that was awesome. Oh, and there's Sam. Check him out, how cool. Guys, we're out of the train, but this is next to the train in the exit. This is awesome. This is just awesome, and there's music going now. Guys, I feel like I've been exiting the train for like five minutes now. This is kind of kind of creepy and cool. There's like a little maze just to get out of here. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, check him out. He's super cool. And over 
here, one of those giant skeletons, the pumpkin-headed skeleton. If you can see him, he's pretty cool. Oh, look at this, that is just creepy looking. How cool, how cool. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Little delayed reaction there, you got me. Was not expecting that. Creepy. And another pumpkin head over here. Very cool. Oh my gosh, guys. The train was incredible. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. I, I, I gotta put this above Cedar Point. This was, this was a really good scare. It, Cedar Point, I never really got scared, maybe once and it wasn't like anything great. It was like, oh, I kind of knew that was there, but it still kind of caught me off guard. This, oh no, I, I jumped like three times in that train. Just totally unexpected stuff. It was great. Um, if you guys are in the area, or even if it's just an hour away, come out here on a Friday or Saturday, and definitely, you gotta check out the Stagecoach Stop for the haunted attractions that they have here. My gosh, they're amazing. One's a drive-through, they've got a train, they have three different haunted attractions, by the way, and they have a hayride, there's food. You guys have to come check this out. It's incredible, it's definitely worth it. Uh, they have the drive-through, that you can drive through with a car, as many people as you want, in your car. Uh, they also have this haunted train, and there's another one I think we saw part of in the, uh, the, the western town area over there. And then there's the trail, so there's quite a few things to check out here definitely worth your time guys this is by far my favorite halloween place that we've been to so far if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future videos just like this and remember adventure creepy adventure is just a short drive away <laughs>